So a year ago when Congress passed an expanded version of the policy that's been around with bipartisan backing since 97, about 35 million parents across the country began to see hundreds of dollars land in their bank accounts every month. That is money that they could spend however they saw fit. Economists and policy experts praised the program which passed as part, as part of President Biden's crisis relief package. They said that the program gave families the resources to buy household essentials like food, gas, and educational supplies. Researchers found level, little evidence that the new payments had discouraged parents from working. That was a big concern from opponents of the program, like John Manchin. And within just six months, researchers estimated that the extended payments had reduced the child poverty by 30%. Now, the policy wasn't perfect. It has been reported that the, extended, that the expanded program wasn't even reaching America's poorest parents. Also, about 1 million people opted to avoid a small refund or higher tax bill come April. But overall, the expansion of the credit did not did lead to a, signific to a significant drop in poverty. The window to save the expanded credit is still open. Mansion seems to be open to a Democrats-only bill passed through the budget reconciliation. However, there are many priorities on the congressional to-do list. Back in November 2021, the House of Representatives passed Biden's $1.8 trillion Build Back Better package, and that included the one-year expansion of the child tax credit. But Manchin did stall the bill by opposing a number of affluent families who could claim the credit. He also disliked the one-year extension proposal, adding that he was worried about the cost. Manchin also made clear that he wanted to, re to reinstate a work requirement for the child tax credit. And everybody, that is something opposed by many Democrats, who noted that a work requirement would once again exclude some of the poorest households from claiming the credit's full value. And the good news is that Manchin has already indicated that he was open to a deal on the Build Back Better bill. There are many states that have decided to propose their own child tax credit to help struggling families during this time. Colorado landed more than $60 billion in federal crisis assistance and other funding during the past two years. The $63.6 billion in government cash, or more than 11 grand for each person in Colorado, came in stimulus checks to send to most people. A variety of unemployment benefits, forgivable loans and grants to small businesses, restaurants, and performing arts venues. Now, the state's legislature cash back program would provide eligible residents with a, with a $400 payment this summer. If approved, the state would provide eligible residents with a tax rebate check once they file their state tax returns by May 31st. Folks, if you have any questions on the Fort Stimulus check, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. At this time, I'd like to yield as much time as she may consume to Ms. Kim from California, the ranking member on Small Business Subcommittee of Innovation, Entrepreneurship, and Workforce Development, a small business owner of herself and a great advocate for small businesses. The gentlewoman is recognized for as much time as she may consume. Thank you, Ranking Member Lukemeyer, for yielding. I'd like to thank you and Chairwoman Valles Quest for your leadership on the Small Business Committee. I rise in strong support of my legislation, H.R. 656450, the score for Small Business Act of 2022. This bipartisan bill reauthorizes the SCORE program for fiscal year 2022 and 2023, and it will allow SCORE to expand counseling and training through online webinars, electronic mentoring platforms, and online toolkits to better serve small businesses and entrepreneurs across U.S. communities, including the rural and underserved areas. Additionally, this bill would better protect taxpayers' dollars through oversight mechanisms. Since 1964, SCORE has helped over 11 million entrepreneurs to establish, expand childcare because they need or they want to work. They want to provide a better life for their families, so they may take on a second job, but they, um, they want to work or pursue a career, uh, maybe open a small business. Yeah, for employment reasons. So these are people that are doing all the things we want them to do. Yes. For both themselves, as, as Senator Kennedy says, to, to have the opportunity to work and contribute to our economy. But parents need child care because they want to work. If parents can and want to stay home to care for their children, that's great. But many folks want and need to work to make ends meet to save for a rainy day, to set aside money for their own kids to be able to go to college, but without affordable childcare. Parents, especially moms, have to make excruciating decisions. Mr. Rowan, you described your uh, glass decorating small business that you run. And I, I want to see some samples uh, before we get out of here. I hope you have pictures. But you were describing it, but I'd just like to ask it as part of the, make sure we get all this on the record, what happens when your workers aren't able to find a child care provider with 
an opening or at a price that they can afford? Well, it's an instant um, response. So the story I gave you of uh, Lexis, um, she's one of my production supervisors. As inflation continues to rise even more, many economists are now pushing for the president to take executive action. Lawmakers like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Chuck Schumer want President Biden to sign an executive order that will provide all Americans with recurring monthly stimulus checks. Now, these checks are supposed to be automatically deposited. So, to know if you're eligible for this Ford stimulus check, be sure to keep watching this video because you definitely don't want to miss out on it. Janie Yellen has now defended President Biden's $2 trillion stimulus bill despite criticism from the burst of government spending and helped accelerate the highest inflation in 40 years. Janie Yellen has helped the White House sell the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan, which pumped money directly into households, businesses, and local governments to keep them afloat during this time. Yellen's comments comes as Americans wrestle with the hottest inflation since 1981, which has quickly eroded consumers' purchasing power and President Biden's approval rating tumbling. The White House identified supply chain bottlenecks and other crisis-induced disruptions in the economy for the recent price spikes, while GP lawmakers have pinned it on the president's massive spending agenda. The rising price of everyday goods is eating to worker pay and showing the U.S. economy needs a fast recovery. Now, Yellen argued that the alternative to huge government spending was an economic downturn that could match the Great Depression. Jan Yellen stated, given this uncertainty, the recovery packages sought to protect against fail against tail risk. They were not tailored to address the median income. So as the crisis continues, lawmakers are insistent that inflation relief checks be sent out to help those that are struggling. And Representative Omar, along with other progressive Democrat lawmakers, have proposed legislation that would dole out regular stimulus checks through monthly payments of up to $1,200 for adults and $600 for children. Now, the legislation would actually provide $1,200 a month to people, making seventy-five dollars or less per year. The heads of households with an income of up to $112,000 will receive $1,200 under the program. And President Biden has announced that he is taking a hard look into forgiving some federal student loan debt and the amount he is considering is less than $50,000 per borrower. The amount is lower than some, tump tump, than some top Democrats have been seeking since he took office. In a response to a question at the White House, Biden said, I am considering dealing with some debt reduction, and I'm not considering $50,000 debt reduction. But I'm in the process of taking a hard look at whether or not there will be debt forgiveness. Debt forgiveness. The president said he would have an answer on forgiving additional debt in the next couple of weeks. Now, during his presidential campaign, President Biden said he would cancel $10,000 in student loan debt and call for Congress to act. He has extended the crisis related pause on federal student loan repayment several times, most recently through August 31st. The White House has previously raised concerns that widespread federal student debt cancellation could face legal challenges if done through executive action. The president last year asked his team to evaluate his legal actions. Pressure on Biden to act has been mounting as the midterm elections approach, and some Democrats like Chuck Schumer and Elizabeth Warren 